Hi, I'm Jeff Thompson of Motorcycle Riding Concept, and today we're going to show you how to ride a motorcycle. Uh, first, we're going to show you how to start it. This is Mark Payton. He'll be doing the demonstration for us. Okay, to start this particular motorcycle, he's going to reach up and turn the key to the on position. When he does that, in your speedometer cluster, two lights will illuminate. A green light with an N, which is the neutral light, and a red oil pressure light. Uh, he'll reach up with his thumb and turn the kill button to the on position and then he'll just uh, pull the clutch in. Remember this particular motorcycle has a safety switch for the clutch and now he'll just push, push the yellow button with his thumb to start the motorcycle. Remember it's important for you to know where all of your buttons and switches are on the motorcycle so you can keep your chin up and look farther down the range. Now that the engine is started, that red oil pressure light should go out. If it does, then you can release your clutch and just relax your hand a little bit. Remember, it's important when you go to pull the clutch in and shifting, it's important for you to know that when you pull the clutch in and release the clutch, it should be a smooth application. Remember, no abrupt movements in because you'll get abrupt, abrupt movements back out. Now that we've learned how to start the motorcycle, we're going to move on to shifting it. On a motorcycle, the shifter is, on, like I said, on the left side. And to shift the motorcycle, try to remember to put your feet on the foot pegs where the balls of your feet are back and just the balls of your feet are on the foot peg itself. That way your foot does not interfere with the shift mechanism. As you're riding down the road, that would be important. So for him to put it in first gear, let me qualify first by saying this motorcycle is on a, on a jig to keep the rear wheel off the ground so we can show you how to shift it without moving the motorcycle. He's going to reach up with his hand and grab the clutch, pull the clutch in, depress it all the way, and then just push the shifter down one click into first gear. Unlike your car where you have a, a, a standard H shift pattern, a motorcycle pattern is all linear. So think of your hand as the shift pattern. First gear is all the way down. Neutral is in between first and second, and you have second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and fifth gear. So he's already shifted it into first gear. He's going to ease the clutch out, give it a little bit of gas, and the rear wheel now should be turning. And it is. As he rides down the road, he'll pull the clutch in, put his toe underneath the shifter, and bring it all the way up into second gear. Let the clutch back out, and now he's riding in second gear. Now he's going to shift to third gear by doing the same thing. He's going to pull the clutch in, bring the shifter up to third gear, and ease the clutch out into third gear. And he's riding down the road just like you would. For this demonstration, we're not going to go any higher than third gear. Now, to downshift, he does everything in opposite. He pulls the clutch in, pushes the shifter down into second gear, and he eases the clutch back out. And now he's in second gear. Now he's going to pull the clutch in, shift down to first gear and come to a stop. This is the only time really that we want you to look down at the gauge. He can look down at the gauge and just lift his toe up in between first and second where the green neutral light comes back on. If that's the case, then he can reach up with his thumb and turn the engine off. And that's how you shift a motorcycle. Remember when you're shifting the motorcycle and operating the, the instruments in the clutch, we want you to raise your gauge, which means raise your chin up and look farther down the road. We don't want you to get in, encumbered by looking down at your, at your levers and your instruments when you're trying to shift. That's a dangerous situation. Okay, now that we've learned how to start shift the motorcycle, we're going to move on to learning how to find your friction zone. 